It's Tracy and Noel. They're gonna make you LOL on 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. Hello and welcome to 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 170. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel W. Herzog, the comedian. Hi, hello, the <laughs> comedian. Did you like that? We're here to talk about 90 Day Fiance season nine, episode two. Is it over yet? Okay, but we just, <laughs> unfortunately, we just did the pre-show podcast. Yeah. yeah. Um, without, rec- like just you and I, we have to stop doing that. I know, but there was like, we just talked about things. I know. I guess we say the mean things that we're not allowed to say. We said on the way podcast. more mean things. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you guys want to hear more banter between Noel and I, please go to patreon.com slash trash talk podcast for all of our bonus episodes, our other podcast, which is our favorite podcast, BS, where we just, you know, we just um maybe yes. Maybe yes. And also unexpected trash talk. That's where you can find it. Patreon.com slash trash talk podcast we're gonna record all those later too <laughs> we're gonna record every single thing today so yeah. um i think that we should start off pretty strong with see i don't know who i hate the most same i guess we're gonna have to talk about it afterwards we'll talk about everything and then we'll see who we hate the most at the end of okay this. all right so Bilal and shida yes yes so he's decorating his childhood home with um just little things to make it look like he lives there now Okay, you're, with that bed spread, you're not going to convince me that you live there. What, you don't like the bed in the bag? Here's the thing. I don't mind a bed in the bag. I just had this conversation yesterday in the laundry <laughs> not about bed in a bag. I don't mind it. This was a bed spread. This yes. wasn't a quilt or a comforter. It was a spread. <laughs> uh-huh, I liked it. It was great. Yeah, was I don't beautiful. like it. So that is a grown-ass man. He is not buying that. Yes. So he's going to the airport and he says, quote, love hasn't been kind to me. So okay. clearly his ex broke up with him. We get it. Yes. Uh huh. We get it. Get over it. So he gets in his van and he said he's putting her to the test. And isn't that how most amazing relationships start? No, you must have like a really strong foundation mm-hmm. if you have to test your fiance. Yeah. As soon as she gets <laughs> off the plane from another uh-huh. country with a strange mm-hmm. man, everything is fine. So it seems um, great. they they have been apart for two years. She's coming from t- Trinidad and Tobago. Right. And um. He said that um, any minute right now, she could finally be smell her aroma. <laughs> Why did he say that? But he, Why? The way he speaks any minute right now. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Any minute right now. So he's like, yeah, any minute right now, she's going to be any minute right now. He's going to grab her and put her in a work van. Right. Great. I don't so, know. OK, but would that bother you? No, I mean. I don't, what do I care? But that's okay. So if someone just real quick, if someone picked me up in a work van, I would, uh, I, I would, that's I'd be like, is this like, your oh, work, van? work van? Okay. And this is why I think this entire storyline is fake. You think it's fake? I don't I know. Do. She's I think it's so, pissed. Right. Which is why I think it's so fake because she's noticing things that like, I don't think anyone would really ever care about. Like, okay. We've, um, we've seen and dated and, you know, Lots of construction workers or men. All that, of like, the construction you know, every, workers. Everyone has a work van. Okay? Yes. Could you imagine like your boyfriend's like, oh, I'm going to pick you up in my work van because we have right. to go. Not like we're going to be cruising around in my work van. Just like mm-hmm. we have to use my work van right now. Right. Can you imagine criticizing like the work area of the work van? Here's the thing. Women do that. They I just do. Yes. I don't know. This is just not. For me, there's something inauthentic about it. So she sees him in the airport. She drops her bags and runs. This is like mm-hmm. the rom-com of the year. Yeah, lame. She said that she wants to see everything he's been hiding from her. And this is why I think it's fake because it's like so um, like they're getting to it. You know what I mean? Like everything is getting to that. She's going to be going to fake houses. And I don't know. I mean, if you've only seen a white wall, for two years that you okay, I wouldn't go there though. 
No, no, I wouldn't. I'm not criticizing that. It's more like, yeah, I guess she wants to see what everything is because she hasn't seen any. Right. But what a fantasy, right? You have to go see you're going to America to move with a guy to see what he's been hiding from you. Wow. Yeah, it sounds good. Right. Uh huh. So she reacts to the van right away and she says it's a Scooby Doo van. And she there's she said there's trash everywhere. And quote, this place is looking like Sanford and Son. Which made me laugh. My dad loved that show. <laughs> but it's see, this is where I think it's fake because she's like, listen, I know that he's buying and flipping houses. Why is his van like this? I just feel like there's so much pressure uh-huh. instead of like one comment and like, like, oh, this is gross. That's all I would say. But maybe she uh, listen, I agree, but maybe she's just like really expecting a lot more than what she got. I guess. So he's you know? questioning things about her for quote multiple different reasons okay interesting i'm telling you that his choice of words he really tries very hard yes so he's gonna be bringing her to his old house uh because he's gonna play a joke on her that's another reason why see that's the part that i don't think i don't think this is a joke I don't think this is a funny joke because at a funny joke, you laugh and you're not testing her. So are you testing her or is this a funny joke? He's trying to play it off like it's a joke, but it's it's not not. a joke. But also at the end of the day, if she flips out and she's like, I hate this so much. I thought you were rich. What are you going to do? You're going to break up with her? No. So why are we doing this? We're not going to break up with her. So she's making all of the faces. And this is why I think it's so fake. She comes in the ceilings peeling and she's like, this is the home, babe. She said that she was hoping for a modern contemporary home. Like these are very specific. I don't even know what that means. Like the house that he lives in now. Yeah. It's like a modern house. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like if these lines aren't fed to her, I don't know what is. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think this is all that fake. Mm. I don't know. She asked if there are rats in the kitchen and he said that she needs to fix her attitude and she should appreciate it because she could be, quote, a person on the corner. Okay, dumb. So you're going to bring a woman here Uh from another country Uh and then um, remind her that you're everything that she has and she could be homeless without you. I guess. But also, I hate her reactions, too. I hate her attitude. I don't think they're real attitude. I don't know. Listen, pretend they are do you like it no i don't like her no i don't like the way either of them are acting so he wants to know if she's going to complain or roll up her sleeves she's like both i thought that was pretty funny if you okay if you legitimately Mm -hmm. flew from another country and that was the for real house that you were going to live in Mm -hmm. what would your reaction be the first day walking into it okay i would say so you have louis vuitton luggage but your ceiling isn't on top of my head See, I would like I would not say something the first minute. No, I'm no, there. no, no, no. The first. Yeah. Minute, no, I would probably go to but sleep. That's what I'm saying. Right. I would be like, let me go to sleep. Let me shower. Yeah. Tomorrow we could talk about what's no, really happening. That's why I don't know if this is real. Yeah. So um, she's hungry and she's like, uh, I want to eat from a clean bowl. Now, the other thing is, I know he put like one photo of them out or something. Yeah. There's nothing in this house. She has to know he doesn't live there. Well, okay, so I agree with you on that because it's like clearly nobody lives here. Right. You know, like there's probably not even a sponge. There's definitely not anything in the cabinet. Right. There's There's definitely hands. So there's nothing. There's nothing in the refrigerator. I promise you that like, no, even if you don't have any food in your, you have ketchup. Like there's something. Right. There's no condiment. There's probably no canned beans or something like in the cabinets. Right. she cannot possibly believe that he lives. There. I would have made it believable that I live there. He didn't do a good job. Uh-huh. He thinks putting out a photo and sticking a live, laugh, love sticker on the wall is convincing. Now, I him. would have put like a half burnt candle there. Like, well, he put two candles by her picture. That's where he um, thinks so much. Yeah. So she's <laughs> he said that no one's lived in this house for 15 years. Yeah, it looks like it's staged for like a real but, estate. Thing. As you would say, why is there electricity? Why is there? What do you mean? What did you, did you get it turned on for right. the show? But you so you pay for this house right. every year. Why is there a bedspread still? Nobody's lived well, there for 15 years. I don't know. This is very confusing. What right. are you doing with this property? Yeah, it's weird. Years? Also, you do real estate. You haven't flipped this house yet. That's what I'm saying. Or you yeah. haven't improved the house to. No, I agree with you on that. That seems like 
bullshit. Right. That, but that's why I think she's questioning this too, because it's like you flip houses, you have a work van, you couldn't repair. But if I was her, I would be like, this isn't real. I wouldn't act mm-hmm. so disappointed. I would be like, right. you're a moron. I could tell this isn't real. Yes. So he said that he's going to order food and she goes, can you afford that? You're a he's, bitch. Now I know, but also I feel like he's probably going to be like, what she doesn't know is I ordered food weeks ago and it's been in the garbage. I'm going to feed it to her to see if she likes it. It's rotten. I want to know what the hell that is that he ordered. Okay. So I think uh, it's catfish. I thought it was fish too. Um, dirty rice. And, and some kind beans. of, yes, that's what I think it is. Um, but also their microwaving takeout. They're microwaving get it. There? And, and she also puts her plate down uneaten. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing. Yeah. Here. So she's like, listen, I met him. He had Louis Vuitton lug- luggage. He was dressed nice. This is really weird. And she feels deceived. And he wants her to want him for who he is. A liar. Right. See, that's the thing, though. If you, if you lose me now, you're losing me forever. Yeah. If you're lying to me, why are we doing? Because this is not a joke. This is a test. Also, and I don't want to be with you. Also, you're lying to me about I want to have kids. And you're right. like fickle about it. Why are you wasting her time? He's yeah. not nice. Uh, uh-uh, not. That's nice. why, like, I definitely like her more than him so far. I just don't like either of them. I have to tell you the truth. Although no. I love her eyebrows all the way. No, I like her eyebrows, and yeah. you know, you and I are like a lot like that. Yes. You know, I really care about my hair, and so do you. Uh, I really do. The key to consistent good hair days, using ingredients that benefit your hair. Function of Beauty makes hair care products that are 100% customizable, made for your hair where it's at now and where you want it to go. Your hair is completely unique and products that address its specific needs. That's where Function of Beauty comes in. We have been using Function of Beauty. Last night, I used Function of Beauty. I used the um, the shampoo and conditioner right. mm-hmm. in my favorite scent. Milkshake. What's your, milkshake. <laughs> What's your favorite scent? Peach. I used the leave-in conditioner afterwards. I mm. used a little bit of the hair oil. I really like this line of products. I used the whole skincare set last night. I used the body lotion and body wash to match the shampoo because I love it so much. You must be smelling like a snack over there. I sure <laughs> do. Function of Beauty is the world's first fully customizable hair care that creates individually filled shampoos, conditioners, styling, and treatment formulas based on your hair now and where you want it to go. It's founded by a dream team of engineers and cosmetic scientists. Each function of beauty product is individually designed to be as unique as you are. Here's how it works. First, take the quick hair quiz to build your hair profile and select five hair goals like length and volumize and oil control. Mm -hmm. Next, choose your color and fragrance, or you can go dye and fragrance free. Then get your freshly filled formula delivered straight to your door and prepare for good hair days ahead. I am really looking forward to getting Function of Beauty for everyone for Mother's Day. Okay, let me ask you a question. Why yeah. am I so obsessed with matching the colors to the scents? I know you really do like doing it's that. my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to generic hair care for good today. Go to function slash 90 day to take your hair goals quiz and you save 25% on your first order. Go to function slash 90 day to let them know you heard about it from our show and get 25% off your first order. That's function slash 90 day to take your hair quiz and save 25% off your first order. All right. All right. Now let's talk about Guillermo and Cara. Yuck. <laughs> she, I don't like him. He's fine. I don't like her. No, he's fine. She's unlikable. She asks him. She arrives in DR to go pick up her son. I mean, her boyfriend. Uh-huh. <laughs> and he asked her if she asked him if he misses her smell. What's with this? What is with the smells? The aromas. This is a smell centric episode. A lot of Very smells. Gross. A lot of aromas. A lot of smells. I don't need to know. I don't. I, I'll tell you. I have never missed the scent of anyone. No. No, No. I've never like, I miss the scent of Matt. No, I don't. No, (laughs) men are disgusting. Anyway. Yeah. So they're in DR and he surprises her with dinner with friends. Did this look like the nicest place in the world? Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is the brightest, most cheerful scene I've ever seen. Yeah, it's so cute. He said that the USA is paradise. See, that's very interesting. 
Mm, interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, you could. So I do understand he's coming from Venezuela, Venezuela. You know, obviously there's a lot of hardships that are going on. And he was right. talking about how, like, you know, he could buy anything at any time. And, you know, we take that for granted. Here. Absolutely. So mm-hmm. one of his brothers is there. The other one is sick. Right. Joaquin, he's sick. But like, what's wrong with him? But that's what I mean. Does he have a cold? A cold? Does he have scary things. Right. Like, what's, what's wrong, wrong with him? him? Uh huh. So. Uh, his brother, his brother that's there is like, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about him. He's a kid. Great. Mm-hmm. And then also they- he surprises her with her friend who his name is Chris. Also, who she danced with. That's what their job was together. They danced together. Yeah, because she was a dancer. That's one of her. That was one of her jobs. This is like I, an Ariella and Binyam situation. But she uh, that was her job opportunity in DR when she was at her meeting. And yeah, that's where she met she him a t- as a waiter. She had to type so much. <laughs> she was typing about dancing. She was like back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Fox shot. <laughs> cha Oh, man. Okay. So they start calling uh, him a sugar baby. And this is when we get introduced to something that I did learn about quite a while ago, which is a sanky panky. Okay. I wrote danky lanky. So oh, I'm not okay. good at this. Okay. <laughs> danky lanky. Whoops. Oh, Noel. <laughs> You're so good at listening. <laughs> and I'm like, that doesn't sound right as I wrote it. Like, this oh my God. Sound right. So a sanky panky is, um, someone who's in DR usually this because this is how I've heard this before it's like a young guy in DR that's looking to come to the United States and they want papers okay so they're asking about her friends in the US and she's like oh they tease me that I like toddlers oh that's fun that's great mm-hmm. it's normal. Mm-hmm. yeah that's it's funny good. it's a funny joke mm-hmm. okay no I like um, that can you imagine if the roles were reversed no, I actually can't imagine that. Okay. It's just as gross to me. So it's like Angela and Michael. It's the same shit. I know. So I she says, uh, quote, I'm starting to feel loca. What the hell is she drinking, by the way? It looks like she's drinking a green drink, I don't but know. it's an alcohol drink. I don't, I could not understand what it was. I don't know. So they're in the cab going to the airport and he said that he feels like there's an octopus in his belly and she starts making like octopus noises. She's like, do the noises. noises. Octopus. (laughs) She's like a crazy pre-K Spanish teacher. Yeah. Okay. But I would, that would suit her so much better than a balloon artist. Yeah. But she would have to go to school and I don't think she is um, equipped for that. I don't think so either. I don't think she's school equipped. No, she thinks she's Betty Boop, this girl. I can't stand her. I can't stand her. So they hug him goodbye. Right. They give him a group hug. And she's like, oh, me too. And she like jumps. And it's like. Mm. Stop being weird. She needs to be the center of attention constantly. And, you know, we both hate girls like that. Uh, yeah. I They're can't deal great. with that. They're not great. So they weren't sitting together on a plane. So she had a breakdown. You had a breakdown because you weren't sitting next to each but other. But you knew you plane. weren't going to sit. On, you had the tickets, right? Right. You knew you weren't going to sit together. Uh uh-uh. uh. So you had a breakdown. She had a breakdown. Okay. Well, they were. You flew for- there alone, just fine. So it's not the flying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I had a breakdown. I made that to be out of fun seat. Shut up. I couldn't Shut sit up, with Karen. my child. Well, that's the whole thing. She was probably like, yeah. I need to breastfeed during yeah. the flight. Right. I have to hold. I can't breastfeed I have to the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> she was probably like, do you mind if he just sits on my lap? He hit up the, his bottle. He's little. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a glass of hot water? <laughs> so they were detained for questioning at, I like how they make this like, boom, boom. They were detained for questioning. Like he's going to get sent back. Right. But like they knew they were going to get detained for questioning. They have yeah. to question you. Right. Because his passports expired. Right. Right. So two hours later, they were released. No, they it was just the it's process. Over. Yeah, yeah. it's over. Um, the accents that she does. Oh, I know. So she's like, what would you like to do tonight? Would you get, like to get a little drinky, a little uh-huh. drunky? Uh huh. And he's a like, drunky. No, drunk. Don't talk. Why do you talk to me like that? And he's like, yeah, I guess we could have a drink. <laughs> she I, talks- I think she annoys him. She definitely. Yeah. Did. He's uh-huh. like, I'm here for my dog and I want the streets paved with gold. Oh, I want to see more of the dog. I do, too. Yeah. Very, I want to see more of the dog. Weird. Also, I would appreciate it. I'm just putting this out there. If yeah. she stopped referring to him and everyone else is brown. I don't like it. Um, yeah, she's just trying to be very woke, like extra woke. 
Yeah. Why? Be yourself. She is not herself, though. No, that's the problem. Noel, do you not remember? I'm going back to my I'm sorry, but I'm going to do it. Go back to to my notes. notes. (laughs) Okay. she said that she's a chef, a dancer, a singer, a massage therapist, a voiceover artist. She's lived in four countries, speaks three languages. She's a party girl. You don't think that sounds like you a little bit? No, (laughs) you've had so many lives. Sure. But like. That's no, I don't no, no, know. I know, I know. She's her uh, energy she, is she's like, like flaky. Yes. Yeah. She, yes. She is. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And that's I've just done everything because I like doing everything. But like she's well, no, like, no, no, she's very flaky. She's like frantic, flaky. Yes. Yeah. Which is actually the opposite of who you are. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's like, listen, he doesn't even know that he's walking into a balloon mess. Also. Borrow Bilal's van. You need that for your next they need to switch. job. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go fit your balloon knot into the van. Ooh, balloon oh, sorry. knot. <laughs> sorry, guys. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to make it. But now we meet Eve. She's 48. Which apparently stands for Yvette. I didn't know this. Yeah, I don't um, know if she is okay. I think that she's very overwhelmed in life and life can be overwhelming. And many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped detachment, fatigue, and more, you know, I'm nodding my head to all of those. Yeah, I know. (laughs) And you know, if you're working too much, if you're not taking time for yourself, have you ever felt burnt out all the time? Yeah. It's it's not a good feeling. It's I like think you know, people feel it a lot more than they will own up to. Absolutely. We associate mm-hmm. burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burnt out and better help online therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. It's true. I've been using better help for quite a while now, and it's just very helpful to me because like as I go through the week, I make notes in my head about like what I want to talk about in therapy. That's a great idea. Thank you. BetterHelp mm-hmm. is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you could be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash fiance. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash fiance. All right. All right. So let's talk about Eve. Yvette. Vet. <laughs> He's an acupuncture and massage therapist, and she's um, a healer, if you will. Okay. She's I don't mind. 48. This. Okay. But see, I don't mind this part about her. Oh, no, no, no. I don't mind it, but I had to close my eyes. The cupping. The cupping. Yes. So um, we've been cupping. I've been cupping for my tennis elbow. Matt's been cupping his balls. <laughs> he, has been. he really has been. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's gross to watch, but I like her. I like that. That the kind of thing is what I couldn't deal with. The yeah. Boop. I hear you. So Ugh. she's Apache and she has a son, uh, Theron. She's a single mom and he's 12. He has autism, Down syndrome, stage two kidney uh, disease, and he has to be catheterized every three hours. And you know what? She's so positive about it. She was like, she I is- don't care. I'm so happy to be his mom. And I, I wish every mother was like, yes, that. she said that, that she never so nice. felt sad that he had special needs. I but love that. She was engaged to his dad. They were together for eight years, but she left. She good said that her feel supported. Yeah, good for her. He wasn't emotionally fulfilling her. Good for her. A man not emotionally fulfilling a woman. I've never heard of that. Shut up. <laughs> do you think that she left him or do you think that he left her because she has bad plastic hangers? I love plastic hangers. I can't I do velvet hangers. I know. It's just like the <sighs> touch of them yeah. makes me want to jump out of the window. I don't know how you could use anything that the isn't touch, plastic. The feel of, of cotton, the fabric <laughs> of our lives. But I what? will say she has nice cheekbones. Did you know? Yeah, she absolutely yeah. does. Um, so she met Muhammad. He's from Egypt. He's 25 years old. And her best friend, Crystal, comes over. Mm-hmm. She talks about how she video chatted within two days of him and that age doesn't matter. And they were in love within a few weeks. And then she okay. went to Egypt. They fell in love. They got engaged immediately with a, with ruby, a ruby ring. Did she show her ring? I didn't see it. No. I want to mm-hmm. see this ruby Me ring. Too. But let's talk about Crystal. Okay. Okay. Um, 
did she get in an eyelash accident on the way there? <laughs> I didn't notice. What's wrong with her eyebrows? Her eyelashes. She What's has fake eyelashes. So I don't know if she has a strip on. I think she has eyelash extensions, but okay. they're uneven. Okay. And it looks like she. Okay. So maybe she got her eyelashes done and then the glue wasn't drying. So she went into the fan that Bon Jovi uses on <laughs> stage to make his drummer's hair blow. <laughs> <laughs> and and they were all different ways or maybe she got her eyelashes done and she drove there with her head out the window and the top down <laughs> or like on a motorcycle with no helmet. I don't know what happened. No, I was I was could not stop looking at her monochromatic flat matte makeup. That's what was driving yes. me crazy. Well, uh, they got their K-1 visa and she's now going to be pretending that she can't show her arms or legs anymore. Right. So now you have to go through your closet. Yeah. Okay. You're going to throw away all your clothes. And then what happens when you break up? Now you have no clothes. Right. You're only going to wear long sleeve shirts for the rest of your life. Okay, cool. So Crystal. The Where does she live, by the way? New Mexico. Did she say? Okay. Albuquerque. Oh, yeah. You're going to wear long sleeves in New yeah. Mexico. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, it's <laughs> fun. Crystal has the most horrified, terrible look on her face this she entire does. time. She but does. Also, did you notice something else about Eve's makeup? Uh, uh Her lipstick? She matches it to every shirt she wears. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, so now she goes out with the squad. This is a squad. These are her, her best friends and they're yogis. And she talks about how supportive they are of her, how supportive they are of the relationship. So mm -hmm. they have a group hug as a soul family. Okay. I mean, listen, it's cute. They're healers, yogis. Sure. Okay. So now they talk about how they don't know anything about Muhammad or the relationship. Right but I thought they were so supportive. Mm -mm. No, she doesn't even talk about it because otherwise she gets sideways glances. But I thought that they were so supportive. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Th that's not true. So <sighs> they stayed in a hotel when she went to Egypt. Right. So they well, early she did. Yes. And um, mm -hmm. he was a virgin. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Oh, yeah. No, this sounds real because they uh -huh. don't believe in premarital sex in, um, in his right. religion and culture. Uh, but, you know, it was different with her. That was like Yazan and Brittany. Same yeah, thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. So Jen is asking very specific questions. Yes. Nipple and questions. <laughs> yes. Nipple a lot forward. of <laughs> a lot of uh, nippular questions. <laughs> very areola based questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot man. of areola inquisitions. Yes. Areola inquisitions. I like it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, so she's asking these questions and now also she said that he doesn't drink. Right. Okay. And she's like, I don't need to drink all the time, which is fine. But mm -hmm. this is what, hmm, okay. What? So he was mad that she wore a bikini, but didn't they meet? Cause he commented on her bikini picture. They met because she hashtag like fit bod right. on her picture. And he and commented on her bikini. Uh-huh. That's how they met. I mean, he doesn't like, like she's that. in a bikini now. Uh huh. Interesting. This doesn't seem real. Mm -mm. All uh -huh. right. So they've spent 22 days together in two years. And uh, Jen is very worried. Her friend Jen. She does not like this. Her one of her friends. I don't know which like what her name was. She had moon earrings on. Mm -hmm. She had this yellow dress that was off the shoulders. Hot. Good. Dress. Oh, I didn't notice. Good it. luck. I was yeah. too worried. I was too worried. Uh. <laughs> Looking at her juicy couture brand and choker from Kohl's. Listen, it's a thing now. It's back. Noel. Juicy's back, baby. Noel. Mm -hmm. This I couldn't believe this. Juicy's she has a back. lot of she has a lot of interesting fashion choices. She does. I will agree with this. Maybe she should clean out that closet. <laughs> yeah, I think she should. Mm -hmm. I think that was a great start. Yes, I agree. All right. Now let's talk about uh Jabri and and uh uh, what's her name? Uh, Miona. Miona. Okay, so she's 23. Like Fiona. Yes. <laughs> so they're in South Dakota. She's coming in two days. So he has to get his dad's truck washed. <laughs> oh, Jabri. He is so, they're so unlikable. Too. They're so unrelatable. That's what and it is. They're not relatable. So, he's so out of touch. So he calls David, who lives in Chicago. Right. And he's like, you know, me and David were boys. I dated his sister. We were band partners. We've gotten right. in fist fights. And it's like, stop trying okay. to make this. Thing. This is so cool. stupid. 
his so band is a- on pause. pause. Yeah. Right. And David and Miona don't get along. Right. Um, okay. He kept his window open in the car wash then. purposely. Yeah. That was and- on purpose. Yeah, it had to be cool. You're quirky. You're so silly and flighty. You forgot to close your window. Wow. Mm. So his sunglasses are red razors. <laughs> He's it's not really his look that bothers me. OK, but it's this... not his costumes. Can I tell you something? Yeah, I don't buy it. Yeah, it's not real. That's what bothers me. Mm-hmm. I don't buy it. It does not because like if you to felt that you really want like you were this person and you wore whatever you wanted to. Cool. Like Dennis Rodman. Cool. That's I don't not believe who it. you are. Yeah, I don't believe it. So here's here's he's something trying that... to be funky and he's not. OK, I wear purple lipstick a lot. I wear very uh-huh. bright lipstick and bright blush. I just like it. Yeah, I don't talk about it constantly. No, of course not. I'm not like, hey, guys, look at my look. Why would you ever talk about your look? I wear men's clothes all the time. I don't talk about it. It's just I like it. I just like it. He's really like trying to make this. He happen. wants to be so different. And yes. you know what? Come to New York. You'll look like everyone else. So he calls David and David says, oh, my God, the IG is popping. We yeah. got to get back out there. We're a super popular band. We are. We're getting signed. Yeah. So David doubts the love between them. And he's like, yeah, she's rude. And yeah. he, he's blaming David for not liking Miona. Yeah, well, I'm shocked. This is how it always goes. This is how these relationships always go, though. So mm-hmm. apparently he went to Serbia for the pandemic. He speaks Serbian and, you know, David. See, but not... that's why the band is on pause. He just yes. deaded them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but also, like, I think it's OK that they're on pause. No, it's fine. But like, you're also a scumbag. I know, but I like how David is like, you're in a band, a popular band. And it's yeah, like, you're mm-hmm, in such a popular mm-hmm, band, mm-hmm. super popular. You're in such a super popular band, David, that you personally on Instagram have twelve hundred followers. Uh huh. But you're Very in a good. super. Po- anyway, so now he's wearing a pink terry cloth short set that I would like to wear myself. I would like to wear this. Thank you. And he's going to be rolling out a red carpet, even though she does not like it. Why are you doing this? He got her pink cowgirl boots and he puts on his pink suit with a cream turtleneck the turtleneck though it's like i don't know i don't get this outfit it's very chunky the turtleneck it's all chunky you're right he wears costumes that's what i don't like about this it's Mm -hmm. not real well he rips his pants bending down Okay. I mean, they were very tight. They were like, they like were. you borrowed them from Jalen on Team Mom. <laughs> so he sings a song about picking her up. And this is how I know your band's not popular. It was yeah. a very bad song. Very bad song. <laughs> so he gets to the airport. He rolls out this red carpet. Did they rent the airport to film this? No, I just think nobody lives there. <laughs> OK, so he rolls out the red carpet. He's so mad. The guy walks right across his red carpet. And I'm like, okay. was that that had to be staged, right? You think so? Because the guy was not paying attention. Right. But also the guy, they showed his face, which means he signed a waiver. Oh, OK. Interesting. So, yeah, I guess it was staged. I didn't mm-hmm. think about that. So he's like, he keeps calling it the magic carpet. OK. OK. She uh, arrives and she looks a little different without makeup. A lot different without makeup. And then also, you, she has the smallest feet I've ever seen in my life. She does. But she also overlines her lips so much in the confessional. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, no, her eyebrows. They're they're like Darcy eyebrows, like like she got the fox lift. Yes. And she also um, I mean, the the concealer that she puts under her uh-huh. eyebrows. To def- it's like so it's, it's a lot dark, full glam. So he said that the way he got her was he hit on her friend and he said that, that was super smooth. And she was funny. She was like, yeah, that's like a terrible idea. She was looking in that part of the confessional like she wished she was dead. Like she made a very bad decision. <laughs> I think that she knows she did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She also he said that she was going to hate the red carpet. She was posing in her sweatpants. She loved it. She was strutting on it. She might as well have been twerking on it. She loved it. <laughs> so uh, she has fake everything. She has fake hair. She has yeah. fake lips. Her lips are lumpy, like gravy that wasn't stirred. I love gravy. Her lips look like rice pudding. I love rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she will leave if they don't move to L.A. Well, um, I guess you should book a ticket because bye, because your man has no money. <laughs> Maybe she wants to come here and like meet someone else. I think that's a lot of people. Maybe, but also like what I want to know her finances. What did she come with? She's a fashion designer. What did she come with? She's 23. She came with nothing. Also, Noel, they're already married, right? 
Yeah. From what I've heard, they're already so, married. But OK, so I don't really know. But I saw uh-huh. that John Yates was yeah. posting about them being married. They were on some kind of like, I don't know if it was like an interview or something when he was in Serbia and he refers to her as his wife. So that's not so much oh. saying there's it's not like um like certificates came out, like a sure. marriage certificate sure. came out or something. It was more like he referred to her as his wife. So question okay. mark. I get that. You know. All yeah. right, so let's move on to the next uh, couple. Emily, she's 29. Kobe's 34. Her sister Madeline is helping her pick out the smallest underwear I've ever seen in my whole life. Something bad happened to Madeline. Something very bad <laughs> happened to Madeline. I don't know if maybe she had gotten a demon inside of her and the family had her exercised. And she's still in the same shape. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was bad. She, she looks like she looks like, like she's haunting the house. She looks like she's still <laughs> eating bugs in the corner in the house. Yes. It's very, very bad. Uh, so Emily wants to spend a night, a date night alone without the kid as soon as he gets there. And um, she's going to be going to Kansas City. She's staying in a hotel the night before because it's a two and a half hour drive. She's going to have dinner with her best friend, Sean. Right. And then she's going to pick him up from the airport the next day, bring him back to the hotel. Then the next day they're going to go to her house. Bad idea. This is a very bad idea. I would be. I want to see my kid like right away. We can go I, on a date the next time. I'm sure your family can watch the kid another night. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, they did get brick oven pizza when she went to dinner with Sean. And Delicious. I, um, and then she starts talking about her boobs leaking. And then mm-hmm. she goes, and what if he was into it? How gross. Why are, what? What? Is, what? Huh? So she keeps talking about how she looks different. She looks different. She doesn't look all that different. You had a baby. You gained some weight. Stop. Leave it alone. Who cares? Also, I mean, no offense by this, but like, do you think that he hasn't noticed? Have you never video chatted with him? Noel, he can see you. Right. He has eyes. He has eyes. He knows what you look like. Right. So they they um, videotape her pumping and she keeps talking about old Emily. And she said that she wishes she could go on a treadmill for four hours before she saw him. I have um, a lot of news for you. (laughs) You would just be very tired and your legs would hurt. Yeah, you would be tired. Your legs would be jello. (laughs) You would look the same. Mm -hmm. You would feel like I feel today after doing all that laundry I did (laughs) yesterday. You would feel like how Noelle feels after I take her to Target. Seriously, bro. You killed me on Wednesday. (laughs) (laughs) So she starts talking about her sex drive and like, I don't know. She's like really trying to make this something. She always does. And I, again, I like him more than I like her. OK, but she gets to the airport and she's crying already. And he seems so happy to see her, like genuinely happy. And then they interview him. And he say says, one thing. Can go I ahead. Just say one thing, please. If about her, you could say what you're going to say about him. If she's so worried about he's not going to be attracted to her, she couldn't try at all when she was picking him up from the airport. She couldn't put okay. on wash her hair, gloss, wash, wash her hair. hair. Noel, I was thinking the same thing, right? Yeah, because You're... I, I didn't. I thought her outfit was cute, the black you dress with the jean jacket. Kid with you? No, her dress was cute. Yeah, you couldn't wash your hair. No. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm Thank so you. glad that you agree. Yeah, I totally agree. So uh, they interview him as, uh, you know, they're at the airport, and he, she says, he says, "quote She's changed. She's gained weight. It's not about how she looks." And he's like, "I just really want to meet my son." And I'm like, "Uh huh." Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And they're like, how does he? Look? I like, like him. He's beautiful. I know. But like, I'm tired of people saying like, oh, it's not about how she looks. How about like she's amazing and she's perfect. But I feel like they ask. Right. How they're like, do you feel do you about her she's... weight gain. Do right. You think she gained weight. Right. Right. Because yes they know or no, say it in a full sentence. Her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I don't know. You were kind of. Mm. Anyway, you should um, be bringing him to go meet his child. 100 percent. he's gonna flip out and you're gonna get mad stop go home let him meet his and kid then it's like i don't know and the next the weekend spark guess what the next weekend you could stay all weekend in a hotel stop but that's what i mean it's so dumb she acts like this is the last weekend they're ever gonna have together yeah stop it yeah. um 
Make sure you follow the podcast, 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Noelle keeps up with all of the gossip. Follow Noelle at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can follow me at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Go to TracyCarnazzo.com for all of my upcoming show dates and everything podcast related, including our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash talk podcast, and our other podcasts, Teen Mom Trash Talk and Catfish Trash Talk, which are available everywhere you listen to podcasts. Make sure you give us a five-star rating and an amazing review on every platform you listen to us on and um tracycarnazzo.com all right and if you want to straighten your teeth like i am go to bite.com and use code tracy19 for your kit it starts off 1995 you could start your journey she's on her bite journey guys i really am i'm on week six of 15 matt's doing it too he's on week four i think oh that's right and your mother-in-law's doing it too right mm-hmm. everyone's oh doing my it god okay mm-hmm. bye bye